I'm selling a bunch of glass and my kiln to somebody that's coming tomorrow and it dawned on me as I'm building this crate that maybe somebody else would like to know about building a crate for their glass also as well so I decided hmm maybe I'll just uh, take some measurements and kind of talk about this crate somebody's buying some fusing glass from me and fusing glass that I'm selling is 24 inch by 24 inch so when this lady picks up this glass in this crate from out of state and some fusing things that I'm selling she's gonna be able to use this box perhaps as her crate to keep in her shop and keep things organized so I'll talk about a few measurements I wanted to get an idea wanted you to get an idea how big this crate is I have to back up fairly far away from it to get grabs in my camera angle of view here so the rest of the video is going to be up close this was used particle board that's why the two little holes down on the bottom I was doing something previously it was a shelf and I ran my power cords through there otherwise there's really no need to have these two little holes so I'll just take some measurements and talk out loud basically the glass here is 24 inch by 24 inch so as I measure this crate you could see that the face is 31 inches across and I made this height the front height at 16 inches the sides here are eight and a half inches I use the same thing on the bottom eight and a half inches underneath here and the back side is 30 inches and it's 25 inches tall so this glass is going to fit in there quite nicely and the reason I built it a little bit wider than the glass is so that you can reach in there and grab your glass from the sides either side and I wanted to have an open front so that you can go in there and easily grab your glass but yet it's only nine eight and a half inches wide so it can slip underneath your bench or off to the side quite easily and it's going to be able to hold a lot of glass I don't know how many 24 by 24 inch sheets it'll hold exactly but a, but a sheet being only an eighth of an inch thickness it could hold quite a few and when you have shorter half sheets you can stick the pieces in there and still be able to get them instead of reaching down in a crate where the front is as high as the back that means you could get cut scratched nicked your skin in other words quite easily but by having this front cut away like that it allows you to see the glass that you're grabbing so it's going to be really nice for this lady I cut two, some two two by fours to make feet and these two by fours are 14 inches and what I did is I just measured the lines here and here and I stuck one at one end and what I'll do is I'll stick the other one at the other end I'm doing this video with one hand with camera in one hand and I can't quite reach the six feet away that I am right now to take in this view so I'm not going to be able to show you uh, uh, lifting this up I need a third hand <laughs> so in other words this is going to go there and I'm going to lift this up and I'm going to screw this in from the bottom and from the inside I'll screw this board onto here in the same location like as this one I'll put the screws in the inside that way this crate's not going to be able to rock it's going to have some pretty good stability so it's not going to rock so she'll have a nice little crate when she picks up her glass tomorrow that she might uh, more than likely she'll just keep this crate around and it'll be quite handy and you can build off of so hopefully you got all the measurements it's quite easy I'll take them again the side the sides are eight inches by 20 inches tall 
So both sides would be that same measurement. The face overlaps this side here. The face is 31 and a quarter. And I made it 16 inches tall. And the back is 30 inches. And it is 25 inches tall. And the bottom, I'll take the sheet of glass out. Sorry about all the jostling. You got to do that when there's only one of you. I'm going to turn this crate over. Sorry about all the uh, views. Getting crazy on you. There we go. Here's how I did the bottom. So I screwed it in from the sides on the bottom. Has more strength that way. And the bottom piece is going to measure. It's 30 inches long by 8 inches. It's the same as the sides. 8 inches on the sides from here to here. And the bottom is 8 inches. Obviously the same as you can see. They both fit underneath this side. It all locks together that way. It creates a strong environment. And then again I'm going to attach the feet. You can move them any way you want if you want to distance them away from the end. Both. I'll just put, put them in there. Use some packing paper. This is the packing paper. This is standard kind of paper you get when you buy glass from your from Delphi or if you ship it in you get that type of paper so this lady's gonna have a decent little crate hopefully this helps you bye bye